My name is Del Warren, Vice President of the Kegel Training Center, and uh, we're here today with Kelly Kulik and Liz Johnson to talk about uh, three of the Kegel Navigation Series patterns. Um, I know we get a lot of questions uh, about the patterns at Kegel as people bowl on them. Uh, things like how, where do you play the, you know, where do you play the particular pattern? What balls do I use? What are the strategies? So uh, we've picked out, we've chosen three patterns: uh, one in the Sports Series and two in the Challenge Series to talk about, um, and. Uh, I've asked uh, uh, the two ladies to, to give their opinion, generally speaking, on how to play short, medium, and long. And I think that will give everyone some great tips on at least to get in the right part of the lane and to, to understand why the pattern plays like it does. So uh, for this particular uh, uh, subject matter, we're going to really focus on short first, uh, which is the boardwalk pattern. It's uh, 2435, which um, the first two numbers in that series uh, indicates that uh, this pattern is 2.4 to 1 ratio which is a, a very, very difficult ratio. It's almost a flat pattern. And the, the last two numbers, 35, represents the pattern length, 35 feet. And as we talked about previously, um, we use a, a system, PL minus 31, pattern length minus 31, to indicate where we want the ball at the end of the pattern or the exit point. So in this case, 35 minus 31 is 4. Um, certainly, uh, we all know that most short patterns play out. Um, this pattern is no exception. Uh, but some of the key things to look for is uh, when you do get outside of five is, number one, make sure that you slide far enough to the right. Um, normally, uh, there's about seven boards difference between where you slide and where you lay the ball down. So if you were going to play straight up, uh, let's say the four board, you would want to slide somewhere around 11, 12. Um, and, and typically, on a short pattern, the, the players that traditionally hit short consistently uh, are the players that throw a little bit harder, a little bit straighter, um, and can stay out a little bit longer. So, um, one of the things that I look for on a short pattern as well is, what you know, what are the first two boards like? Um, are they on? Is there some friction? Can you get it to the edge and get it back? Um, if that's the case, you're going to want to move your focal point even a little bit further to the right and play the bump. Um, if it so happens you run into an installation or a, a particular uh, uh, lane that uh, you actually have hang at 2-3, um, then it can get a little different, it can get a little tougher. So in those cases I like to move our, you know, your focal point in a little bit, play a little bit tighter line, and, uh, and certainly use um, bowling balls that are going to just roll and, and really not make a big move, and use the angle that you're playing uh, in, in order to hit the pocket. Um, Kelly, tell us a little bit about when you go about playing a short pattern like boardwalk um, in, a, in a sports situation. What are some of the, the tactics that you use and, and you know, what would be a, a bowling ball that you'd use with a layout? Well, like you said, a shorter pattern would make me want to play cl closer to the gutter, to the channel. Uh, angle's very small. I start off with a ball that's very controllable, so within our Ebonite line, most likely would be a curve ball, probably a four and a half inch pin, CT kicked out with a big hole, so in the hole, at the end of the pattern, it sees it, it tends to slow it down and make it pick up into a roll sooner. Probably some aggressive surface, at least a thousand. And again, I would try to play as close to the channel as possible. Now me, even though my rev rate's a little bit higher and a little bit stronger hand, I could probably swing the ball through seven or eight of the arrows and maybe get it to two, three, and just let it check up and roll off of it. But if I can make my hand a little bit softer and calmer, I will and try to stay on top of it as long as I can. For me on the short patterns, um, typically one of the things that help me is by looking closer. Not actually looking very far at the arrows, but maybe just looking a few feet out past the foul line. And uh, often enough, maybe even actually in the gutter, so I, I'm not afraid to walk away from it. But uh, again, something very controllable, a lot of service, hold down or hold on the access line just to make it really smooth and really just try to get the ball to pick up and roll so it's, it's in over and it hits the pocket. Great. And, uh, you know, as everybody knows, Kelly has a lot more hand than most of the girls and, uh, um, and uh, she's, she's able to adapt her game a little bit. You, you normally pick your speed up and maybe cut your hand down a little bit? I do. I really, for me, what's key, again, is there's also a little less grip pressure. It allows the thumb to exit even cleaner and my fingers just to kind of get the back of it, whereas normally I'm around it. So again, if I can just reduce that pressure and be a little bit softer with my hand, the ball will have a tendency not to overreact, but just be smoother in that transition. Great. Well, Liz, I know this is this is kind of in your wheelhouse. Um, I've seen you bowl really well on, on some short patterns, and I, I know you like to play a little straighter line. Uh, tell us, uh, you know, if I was going to learn how to play a short pattern and I wanted to come and see one of the best players in the world, um, you would be right at the top of the list. So um, tell us a little bit about how you play uh, kind of your A game on short. 
Um, normally, I'll, I'll probably pick something like a burst or even like a game on um, a high pin, uh, probably like four or five inch pin, um, and would we'll probably start off something with a weight hole. Um, some uh, usually on the fresh, uh, short pattern. There's so much friction, you kind of want to cut that that angle down a little, a little bit, and uh, so use usually a, a fairly big weight hole. And uh, you know, if I'm looking right around anywhere between like three, four, five, probably. Uh, my feet will probably be right around 9, 10, and slide like 11, 12. And uh, just right up the back of it, sometimes if, uh, depending if the, uh, you know, depending how the front part of the lane goes, I may change my hand position a little bit uh, to, to uh, control, control the back end a little bit. Um, but usually uh, balls, you know, pin high, just stuff that gets through the front fairly clean and, and can go up the back of it. So do you, uh, you then, uh, I know we were talking about what ball speed you like to keep it at normally where you see the best reaction and are you able then to, to actually make your ball speed go up a little bit? Yeah, actually if, if uh, when I concentrate more, uh, you know, physically using more of my legs, I'm able to get the, a little more ball speed, uh, to be a little more controllable ball speed, anything on this pattern, maybe right around 19 miles an hour. And uh, with, try not to loft as much, but uh, just keep, uh, you know, my footwork you know, slow and uh, just use my legs a little bit more instead of trying to use my upper body as much. That's a great tip for somebody that can certainly uh, knock down the pins even. Uh, certainly you compete very high level even with the men. Um, I think you're a threat uh, no matter who's out on the lane. So I personally um, like a curveball five inch pin with a medium hole, a uh, thousand or even five hundred surface and I, I really like to get my ball speed up. And, that's kind of, my game's very similar to yours, Liz, kind of up the boards. Um, and I really just, I try to take my hand completely out of it and, and make, uh, make my swing even longer and smoother and, and, uh, um, and, and really not try to hook the ball. So, uh, but, but probably, I, I think most people, generally speaking, know that they have to play out a little bit straighter. Um, uh, the PBA Tour is certainly featured uh, in a lot of the, the, uh, the majors have featured a shorter pattern from time to time. And, but what do we really do when the lane transitions? Do you, we try to stay out on it longer, um, or you know, do we move in and bank the gutter more? Um, Kelly, what, how do you, what do you do? What's your next move when, uh, when you got to bowl a lot of games on the short? What happens? Um, because of my rev rate, I'm not able to stand on top of it very long. So I know I have to move inward. I have to open up my angles through the front portion of the lane. But the good news is, is I know that most often enough, the, the one two is hooked. It hooks off the lane. So it's almost like there's this big wall on the gutter and I know my ball is just going to bounce right off of it. So it makes my swing even freer and looser. Uh, but again, I really, I open up my angles longer. I move further left with my feet, keep my eyes further right so I still get that angle through the front part of the lane and just let the lane suck the ball back in. Do you tend to go with polish at that point? Or? Uh, I will try to tend to use a stronger ball, still with some maybe a, a lighter surface instead of a thousand, maybe two thousand. Um, polish, I think, just enhances the end of the pattern and it proves to be more friction so it really wants to go sideways and I don't want to see the ball go sideways. So I'll, maybe I'll use 2,000, possibly even 4,000 just to get it very smooth in the end of the pattern. So then you even go with a stronger ball? I do. So you go stronger pin and even something that may even pick up more? I will. I'll go. I'll still maybe use a, a four and a half inch pin down or I'll tend to go to a, a stronger ball with a pin up. Also CG kick that with a hole just so when it sees it and smooth it off of it until I feel like I'm forced to use something that's uh, maybe a little more there. Interesting. Is that what you do, Liz? Um, well, sometimes it depends if uh, it depends also who you're crossing with. Whether like when you see the area of like one, two, three out there, if there's less friction, I may go to a stronger ball and move to that to where there's a little bit of skid and still and still uh, stay on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I may get a little left of that, maybe right in the five, six area, and maybe stay with a uh, ball that I started with, or maybe go to something like that. I know I like to try to stay out as long as I can, and uh, we find that uh, when you can do that, uh, what I like to do is then maybe go to something like a hard ball um, with a, a pin a little bit up, up more, maybe instead of a five inch pin, go to a five and a half. But then what I do is actually raise my ball speed even more, uh, and then just fire it and try to play in the drive. But generally speaking, the, the longer I can stay out to the right past five, um, the less I'm getting involved in the traffic and where everybody else is playing. So. Uh, I know that uh, the longer we can stay out, it seems like uh, 
um, the higher you're going to score, the more consistent you're going to score, especially going pair to pair. And as we've learned about um, different centers in topography, especially when you're getting out close to that gutter, um, you see some pretty big differences from pair to pair uh, in different bowling centers. So, uh, again, audience, as you can see, we have three different players talking about three different strategies here, and uh, all three of us tend to, to look at the lane a little bit differently. So, but uh, the generally speaking, is is you got to monitor, uh, you know, is one two dry, uh, what the scoring pace is. And uh, when you do move in, do you, do you find push or do you find hook? And those are the general rules when you're talking about uh, this particular pattern. Boardwalk is uh, 2.4 to 1, so it is fairly flat, and uh, it, it can play uh, it can play a little bit easier depending upon uh, the surface that you're on. Or I've actually seen it in some centers play play quite difficult. So I hope you enjoy some of these tips. Um, this is uh, this will really help you uh, maximize your skills and your game, and actually enjoy playing. Uh, 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 the short pattern a little bit more.